Hello and welcome all my beautiful vibrant souls who are Libra suns, have big Libra placements or are cross watchers for Libras. Um, welcome to your month ahead reading. This is going to be covering the month of March 2024 and I specifically want to look at how the energies of luck, abundance, expansion are, uh, excuse me, <laughs> going to be supporting you in the month ahead. Um, so with that, let's get into it. I do want to say something I'm almost picking up on is like a feisty energy. So some of you might be ready to kind of fight for something, ready to kind of like stand up for yourself, put your foot down. I like it. It's good stuff. This might be a point of growth for you guys. Um, they're telling me to pull two of these cards, so I'm going to. The bottom is communication. Yeah, you might be standing up for yourself saying something. 14, reducing to a five. There are going to be changes, but it also makes me think of the, um, temperance card and there's a sense here where there might be healing that comes in through whatever communication elapses integration yeah i'm not surprised uh card 30 that reduces to a three the frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life like i was saying this might be new for you guys um the nodal the nodal placement right now, um, the lunar nodes are North Node Aries, South Node Libra. So a lot of you guys, this might feel a little bit different, a little bit like, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm picking me right now. Um, you know, again, there's like a feisty vibe. So that might be something that's a little bit uncomfortable for you for it's like sometimes. Um, but you've been doing shadow work to prepare you for this. There might be some aspect of self, like again, that confidence, that boldness, possibly even a little bit of anger that you may have perceived as negative prior and it's kind of um coming into balance with understanding uh you know when those things are healthy and how to utilize them in a healthy way so this is a month where you're going to be putting some of that into practice especially in how you communicate divine feminine we have another three here with 21 reducing to a three um so you might see a lot of repeat re repeating threes there we go um, the 3rd of the month, the 30th, so March 30th might be important here. Um, March 3rd, which would be tomorrow, <laughs> is going to be important here. Um, the frequency of Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation. So how I feel like this applies is that you guys might have been in kind of like an unhealthy Divine Feminine energy cycle prior um, in kind of like wanting to be, um, you know, thinking that wanting to emulate the qualities and the vibrational energies of peace and love, pardon my itchy nose, and forgiveness needs to happen at the expense of your self-respect or your authenticity. Um, that your truth is less deserving of space in some way, shape, or form. Um, I, you know, I love Libras in their shadow and, you know, the Libra energy when it's unhealed can be um, that which is overly self-sacrificial, willing to sacrifice your personal harmony and internal balance in order to maintain interpersonal harmony. And a lot of times when we think that, when we do that, we think it's for the greater good. Um, but when we are out of balance within ourselves, any external balance we are maintaining by doing that cannot be sustained. And I think a lot of you guys have kind of come to realize that where you're just like, you know what, if I don't speak my truth, I'm not being honest, right? Um, if I am not speaking my truth here, or I'm not standing up for myself, um, this won't last, right? There's a situation like that, like, I have to be able to feel good in, you know, this relationship, this friendship, um, at this job, I have to be able to feel good and, um, you know, protected and listened to. Otherwise, it's going to fall apart one way or the other. A lot of you guys have been doing some type of work around that, especially when it comes to self-expression and communication. So you're going to get an opportunity to put that into practice this month. Um, and I feel like it will be very beneficial, very, very blessed. Um, April 14th, even though it's not in March, obviously, because the timer was at 414, April 14th might be significant in some way, shape or form. I, they're telling me to pull another one of these cards too. Um, this one wanted to fly out, but it's not it. Uh, yeah, we have the sacral with flexibility. I think you're, you know, the sacral chakra is our divine feminine energy center. I think in the past, you've been very, very flexible with other people, again, to because that was the perception of divine feminine energy. Um, and there's been kind of a retooling of that. 
uh, pardon my itchy nose. Yeah, at the bottom we have Mother Earth with the Earth Star Chakra. And the Earth Star Chakra is all about getting deeply, deeply rooted and grounded um, in our, you know, in the in the earth itself, in the physical world as an expression of the divine, right? The two are not separate. The two are integral. Our physical world is a representation of our spiritual world and vice versa. They have a reciprocal impact on one another. And thus our physical world is sacred. Um and our spiritual world is practical and earthly, right? I, I could talk about that another time. I'm like, don't launch off into a TED Talk, girl. Um, but those might be kind of concepts that you've been sort of working with for a while now, I feel. Come on now. <laughs> Relationships, sacral energy coming through. More of that divine feminine. 12, and that reduces to a 3. What is up with you guys? Okay, 3, 3, 3. Um, the 12th, the 21st might be important as well. So we, so far we have March 3rd, March 30th, March 12th, March 31st, uh, whoop, 31st, maybe March 31st, then March 21st is what I was trying to say. So those are the dates coming through and wow, we have peace and there's the 31st. Whoa, bonkers. Okay. There it is. Um, <laughs> I was like, why did I say that? I know why. Um, so by the end of the month, you might be coming into a lot of peace, right? Cause it's obviously it's the last day of March. Um, coming into a lot of peace about the relationships. I feel there's something where you might be in a place where you're trying to like kiss and make up with somebody. Um, in the past, you may have kind of let this person come back or like like given this person a lot of slack, let them off the hook for some of their behavior prior or let something slide, right? Even if this is at work or something like that, it's like, oh, you know, um, my coworker never does their share and I always pick up the slack, right? Or like we'll have a, a group project and my coworker kind of slacks and then I always end up like doing their part of the work and I never say anything. This is where I feel like you're standing up for yourself this month. Again, you're getting a little bit feisty and I do feel like it is going to bring this reciprocity and this balance. I do feel like it will go very well because these are where the energies of luck, abundance and expansion are supporting you. Um, it is going to support you in creating more balanced reciprocal relationships, possibly amending or healing to a relationship. And in doing so, create a lot of peace because not only are you creating better relationship environments and practices for yourself, but it's almost kind of like you've proved to yourself like, okay, cool. I did learn a lesson, right? We have the Lotus. This is the crown chakra and there's clearly a release of energy. So it's like, I've learned the lesson I've integrated um I can do this and there's a big sense of relief that comes along with this and like quite a lot of peace and like internal harmony so I'm already loving this energy um I want to clarify relationships first let's start there and get some more details about what this is talking about the chariot yeah this is for me this is this could be with a cancer um this is success and um you know, in victory, but usually because the black and white sphinxes, and that's what's pulling the charioteer forward. For me, it's success and victory that's achieved through shadow work, through integrating your shadow, because the charioteer knows all parts of themselves, right? They don't ignore any part of themselves. It'd be like having, you know, only one sphinx. It'd be like having it it'd be imbalanced. The charioteer works with all parts of their energy, not against themselves, right? And there's a sense of self-acceptance and, you know, they work on themselves, but that self-acceptance and the acceptance of a part of them. You can't, you can't push away a part of you forever and expect to be a balanced, healthy person or expect to be able to move forward in your life um, in a balanced way. It's just not going to work, right? You have to acknowledge it. You have to make room for it. You have to embrace that part of you. Um, so in this case, if this is, you know, embracing your anger, it doesn't mean you have to be mad all the time, but being angry is a part of being human sometimes. And so being able to experience that and allow that and then channel that in a way that is productive, that is helpful for you, um, you know, might be part of this process. Standing up for yourself is a healthy thing to do, right? And so there's a sense here where because you've been doing this work, this that's why there's success here. Some of you are negotiating in a situation with family or with a home. Um, and this is very, this is going to turn out very favorably. The star, there's some healing. Um, we have Aquarius energy. The Hierophant, that's beautiful Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with like a couple people, an Aquarius and a Taurus potentially, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like you've been, you've been torn between staying committed to something the way that it's been, maybe a very traditional dynamic versus kind of doing things your own way, right? This can be, this person's always naked, which always implies vulnerability. So this is doing things 
in a way that's authentic to you, you know, speaking your truth very vulnerably. Aquarius energy is a deep truth seeker. Um, so this is what I think you've been kind of struggling between is a feeling like you are committed to a particular path, to um, a particular way of doing things. You've made promises and you're trying to keep them um, versus wanting to be committed to yourself and be able to express yourself, right? The water bearer to pour out your emotions authentically um, and, you know, heal the self primarily and so you've been carrying the burden of responsibility of balancing between these two things or finding in equal value and measure both parts of yourself again going back to that charioteer kind of imagery and i do see that um you know there is also a desire to want to do your own thing versus doing what's expected of you that would maybe make somebody else happy um so for example this could be a family business where you're like I know that you want me to take over, but that's just not my dream. I got to go this other way. You might be standing up for yourself for that this month and speaking your truth, which is good for you. Um, and this has been weighing on you for a while with the Ten of Wands. It's like both being in things the way they are, the status quo has been weighing on you, but the concerns about changing the dynamic have also been weighing on you. Yeah, it's this one, the devil. The devil, okay, <laughs> Capricorn energy. Um, this, again, could be at work. There's a sense here of... You know, Capricorn is always about our status and our legacy, what we put our name on in this life. So I feel like there was an expectation for who you were, how you were going to show up, how you were going to keep showing up. And that's just not the way it's going to be for you. And I feel like um, I had, yeah, because we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed at the bottom. This is like not starting a new path or not continuing on. Um, there could be a fear of expressing your truth for fear of, uh, sacrificing financial or material stability. I had a friend forever ago and they said something to me that, um, and that sounds weird, forever ago, I had a friend. That's just the end of the story. <laughs> they said something to me that still sticks with me and it, it is, it really does still touch my heart and soul. Um, and I appreciate that because this is when I was kind of starting out doing this work more consistently and I would have to give people you know, answers in, especially in personal readings where it's like, I, this is, this is just what I'm picking up on. And like, they're tough answers to hear. Right. Um, and I would feel really bad about it. And I would end up kind of like sugarcoating my words. And I would do the same thing in, in my personal life. Cause I'm like, I just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Like this is, you know, this is, this is what I see, or this is how I feel, but like, I don't, I don't want it to hurt you. I don't want the truth to hurt you. Um, and this friend told me, and it, again, still really touches my heart, but this friend told me, um, I believe in your power and your ability to say unpleasant things in a kind way. And obviously it still, it still makes an impression where I'm like, <laughs> and this is, I feel like where you guys are at, um, what may feel blunt to you, what may feel, um, scary is actually something that's pretty balanced, right? It's just that you've been so, um, you know, so kind of far in one direction for a long time that even by pendulously swinging the other way, you're still creating balance. Um, and that's really, I feel like what you guys need to hear is like, for me as a person, I believe in your power and your ability to say difficult things in a kind way. Um, and this is what I think you're going to be doing this month. And I actually feel like people are going to respond to it better than you would imagine. How will the response be to whatever this truth is you need to share? There might be a little bit of like disappointment, like I really wanted, you know, I really wanted this to work out. I really wanted you to do this with me, but I understand. Some of you, like I said, there's a family business and it's like, I just don't want to do that. And whoever is involved is going to be like, you know what, I, I had this vision of you, you know, taking over for me. I had this vision of us doing this together, but you know, this is my dream and I understand if you need to pursue your own. Um, Four of Swords, there might be a little period of kind of quiet or silence as somebody mulls something over. Uh, you might not be in contact with this person right now. I do feel like there is going to be healing though, right? There is this like this meditative energy, this peacefulness. It's kind of very similar to this vibe. Um, the Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah, this person might not say a lot when you say it or things might be quiet for a little bit. That's okay. Um, the Three of Cups, this could be a friend that you're dealing with. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius showing up. The Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah. The Judgment, I see the fool and the ace of pentacles so here's what i feel like is going on again this could be a friend there is a cycle where you're like i need to be all done with this i can't go in this direction anymore um 
you know, there's there might be some really happy moments, but there also might be a lot of instability with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, you know, these could be friends that you go out and you party with, but it's like, I don't want to be in these circles anymore. I don't want to be doing these things anymore. Not because I don't love you, but I'm kind of feeling like I need to do more of my own thing or I'm called in a different direction. Um, this is somebody who, you know, you have you have a lot of love for. There is a soul bond here. If this is like a job, you might have these really great moments or maybe you love your coworkers, but your boss is being a dingus. Um, you might love the work, but your coworkers kind of just like constantly make things chaotic and difficult. And like, there's an, always a struggle here. And it's a sense where you're, I feel like you know at an intuitive level, it's a little kitty here, um, that it's time to throw in the towel. It's not worth pursuing anymore. So while this is what's being communicated, right? I feel like especially a lot of you are going to communicate from this place of it's not personally about you, but I feel like I need something different in my life. Um, I feel like I need a new beginning. And I feel like ultimately this person's going to find peace with that. Um, so, you know, again, the Knight of Swords reversed, the Four of Swords. They might not say anything for a little while. Like if you talk about this, let's say in the beginning of the month, you might not hear from them for a few weeks. They might need to kind of process. I do feel like they're going to come into understanding, right? Especially like because of it's kind of that thing of like, I feel like I'm different. I just need to do things different. I, you know, I love you, but, or like, I love, I love being here. I love doing this work, but th there's an aspect of this that's just not stable for me. It's not going to last long term. It's not, you know, it's not comfortable for me. And I need to do something a little bit different. I'm called somewhere else. Um, or I'm called to be a different type of person, a different type of way. I do feel like ultimately they will be able to hear you. And you guys are going to come to some kind of peace with this um, by the end of the month. So I kind of want to clarify, like, peace and integration put together. Ooh, wow, okay, those are not even waiting to come out. They're like, so glad you asked. The Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is the release of something you've invested a lot, like a decent amount in. And the world reverse. You've been waiting to see if this situation can level up with you. I feel like, again, we have the 21st coming through um, very heavily. Um, I feel like you've been waiting to see maybe if this person can take your lead, can grow with you, if the situation can evolve. And it's just not the seven of wands in reverse at the bottom. You're letting it go, right? Sevens are always about, they're a very spiritual number for me, but there's also this internal reflection energy. So the seven of pentacles reverse, the seven of wands reverse, you've really gone inward to think about this a lot um, and sort of see if this can grow with you in the direction that you're spiritually being called to go. The Queen of Swords in reverse. You might be dealing with somebody who's not very good with communication, to be honest, who can be a little bit cutting, a little bit immature. This might be somebody who it makes it hard to put up boundaries with them or be very direct with them, and that's been a learning curve for you. Um, again, there may have been something where you tried to gently change the dynamic here, and this person's not responding. It's like, I want to. Let's say this is a friend who's always getting into like crazy shit. It's kind of like, okay, I've been trying to you know, maybe um, change the way we hang out, change what we do. I've been introducing new ideas. I've been saying no to certain things. I've been trying to kind of show them, guide them into sort of how I want our friendship to be and how I need it to be now. Um, and I'm not seeing a huge return for that. So I do kind of see that that's something where you're going to be able to let that go. There is a lot of peace that comes from letting a cycle end, both in this context and also within self. Um, so I just want to pull you guys up, like a last couple of cards to sort of send you off here. I'm getting yes, no. So I'm going to look at this. The King of Cups. I do feel like you guys are in this really emotionally balanced, like grounded space. Yep. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. You're, you're very balanced within yourself and you're able to hold an equal value and measure two seemingly oppositional things or oppositional needs. Um, and be able to do so with a lot of love. And I think this person will end up understanding and following suit. It might take them a little bit. Um... But again, it's kind of that understanding of like, you know, I, I wish we could keep things the way they were, but I, I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Don't forget your worth. Don't forget all the work you've been doing, okay? Um, if some of you are worried about what's going to happen at a job, there are a lot of jobs out there. There is always enough. There is always enough abundance in the world. Um, and I know that sometimes that's, that's tough to keep. To It's tough to keep belief in that, right? Um especially in our modern world, but we can't undercut our own well-being. We can't sacrifice our own well-being because we think that we won't be taken care of otherwise. And the tower, 
things are going to change but they're also going to change in the sense that this is a radical move toward your self-worth we have the lightning here and it always looks like a w so w might be important m might be important um there are changes that are going to occur out of this but it is ultimately I, I think you've been preparing for this for a while and you are going to be rebuilding and i love that we had the star come out earlier you are going to be rebuilding something a lot healthier a lot more healed a lot more um, fulfilling for yourself in a very authentic way so that is everything i've got for you for right now i hope this has been helpful um, i'm wishing you a safe happy healthy month ahead come back and let me know how things pan out or how this might resonate i love hearing from you guys and i will hopefully see you soon take care bye